Hi, I'm Annette from The Woolen Needle. We're gonna talk, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the My Blue Door Project. And our first thing, our favorite products. We use Heat and Bond Light to trace and cut out our shapes to get accurate shapes. Our favorite, Famor scissors. Great for wool, sharp, big handles, which are nice. And most importantly, the Applicuse mat, which comes in three sizes, a 12 by 12, 12 by 18 and a 17 by 24. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the project. You're gonna have your pattern, which has instructions and then graphic pages. These are the shapes you will trace. You will use your heat and bond light, trace your shape. And I'm gonna do this really rough. Then you cut out around it, roughly. And I've already cut mine and fused it, but then you fuse it to your wool, cut out your shape on your drawn line, then you get your perfect shapes. I wanna jump back to the apple fuse mat. In your pattern, you have a full diagram layout of your shapes and where they go. So putting your block together, you will lay your applique placement down, your layout. The applique mat goes over top of it. Wendy, can you see that underneath it shows through your where things belong? So my shapes are already cut out and ready. To start with, I'm gonna do the door and get the door ready. The door has a cutout. This is your wallpaper on the inside of your room or home. So I'm gonna put the door over top of that. Here's the window piece. I do have the fusible off the wool, but not off of the cotton at this point. So I just want that placement done before I try putting it on wool because they're so tiny. I use steam on my iron when I'm fusing wool down. I'm barely making contact with the iron at this point. You just give that a little bit of time, let it cool off a little bit, and those will come off fused together ready to use. So now we're gonna do the placement here. You start with your six by six square. I guess I don't have the fusible off of this one. Kind of centers there, but see how it's gonna cover my pumpkins all up. So I'm gonna fuse my pumpkins together and have them be able to be picked up as one unit because I can't see through this piece of wool once I lay it down. So I have them in place. Oops, I missed a piece of fusible. Lay these pumpkins in place. And this little guy tucks underneath there. And sometimes you have to tweak. Graphics change sometimes when you're copying. So you don't have to be 100% exact. So now I'm gonna hover my iron, let the steam heat the fusible because we have stacks of wool lined up. Set it down just for a few seconds. I'll let that cool off a little bit. I'm rushing this, so this might fall apart. But now I can pull that whole unit off and it's ready for placement. So my six inch block goes down. Now I can see the bottom of my pumpkins down here. And I know they go there. You just kind of pick it up and look underneath it. The step tucks underneath here. The door goes on. Now I need to peel the paper off of my cotton that was on that previous piece I made. Lay my door down. Actually, I think I wanna tuck this underneath my step underneath my house. Put my pumpkins down. The door goes down to the bottom. Get that fusible off there. The window's off to this side. I'm just gonna peek and see how close it's supposed to be. And I'm right there. My side posts go on. And you wanna make sure you're past the edge of your six inch, so just a little bit so it covers that up. This one tucks behind the pumpkins to cover this side. And I'm sorry this is upside down for all of you. 
the rail goes across the top. Just tweak it a little bit. This is a little long, so I'm gonna snip this off. This black pot covers that corner anyway. Now I can fuse the whole unit together. And then I will be able to pick this up and attach it to the background block that is set off to the side. Again, this is where we use steam. It is not written in the directions for your heat and bond light because that product was made for cotton only, but we have learned to adapt and use it for wool. Hopefully this will get fused. I have a lot of layers, so some of it may not be stuck together perfectly. I'm a little light there. Again, I just left it up a little bit to let it cool. Sometimes I turn this over and peel my mat off the back. So now, here's my background piece that it belongs on, which has not been trimmed down. I have marked the line. I bring the whole unit up, lay it down, and I put this close to the bottom because this is where it's gonna get trimmed and squared up eventually. So now it is all ready to do my stitching once I fuse this to my background. This project, we use some Baldani, the blues. Um, this is one of our favorite dark colors. It's an Eleganza product. It's 05, easy 05. It reads as dark black, but it's not as harsh as black is. It's called licorice is its name. And then this fall leaf color, it has multicolors in it, which really accentuates and pops to make nice stitching for your uh, lazy daisies on your bushes, on your vine at the top. I put little accents in around the pumpkins, a little bit on the candle, little berries on the wreath on the door. So I hope you have fun with this project and enjoy it. This is found through the Wooly Block Adventure, Front Porch Holidays.